I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Providence's Ed Cooley. And uh, Ed, during the shutdown here, we're all in the same kind of environment. Uh, how have you been handling it? Uh, crawling up the walls a little bit, but, you know, taking care of myself, uh, trying to be home a little bit, and um, just trying to deal with, you know, the new norm. And the new norm is uh, stay, stay healthy, get a workout, go for a walk, talk to your players, talk to your uh, administrative staff. Uh, talk to your AD and president. Um, really, just that's about it. How are your players handling the Zoom and then sort of working out where maybe some have a hoop, some don't, uh, some have stuff to work out with, and some may not? Well, I think we've been doing a decent job. We meet on Mondays, and, you know, we've been bringing in different people to talk, in particular our sports psychologists, about making sure that they have a routine, making sure they're healthy, you know, talk to them about mental health, which I think is very important. Uh, talk to them about social distancing because they do want to play. There are some that have access to gyms and outdoors, but still making sure that they keep their distance to try to stay as healthy as possible and to uh, just not be stagnant, get out and move their bodies some way, whether it's handling the ball, push-ups, sit-ups, jump rope. You know, I think everybody around the country is probably doing the same thing. All right, so what has gotten lost, I think, in the way the season ended is, um, and you know I was there with you, I don't know, feel like six or seven times, maybe even more, but uh, a remarkable season. It was a roller coaster, uh, but it ended on such a high. When you look back at what you, your staff, your players accomplished, what do you think of the most? I think of the seniors and the commitment that they put in. Um, you know, we didn't get off to the start where we wanted to. I thought we were a fragile group. I thought we were a fractured group. Um, and we just didn't trust one another enough early. I think when we started to trust and buy in and, and know that we were a competitive team, I thought the whole uh, Alpha Diallo was, uh, was a leader. I thought Luan Pipkins was a leader. But really, the, the, the silent MVP of the whole year was Khalif Young. You know, he just was able to every day come in with a great attitude and score the ball. He's an incredible defensive player, ball screen coverage guy. Um, I, I thought he was a big, big plus for us. And then Malik White got hot late along with Pip. So those seniors did a really, really good job. So we, I mean, I, I actually thought you guys could go into the Big East tournament and win it. Um, and I know it's hard to play a what-if game, but when you look back, um, what do you think could have happened in the Big East tournament and in the NCAA tournament with your group? Well, the way we were playing, I thought we were connected on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. Uh, you know, our late game situations, I thought we really improved that along the, uh, along the year. Our free throw shooting uh, was really improving. But our defensive mindset and mentality, I thought that's what kept us in the game. We weren't always going to shoot the ball well, but I, I just think we were in such a good rhythm. I don't have the what-if scenarios. All I need is to for somebody, that's for sure. All right, so let's look ahead to next season. Uh, I'm very optimistic that we will have the season that we all hope and want. Um, I'm still really high on you guys uh, with even the guy, you know, the guys come back, a healthy Nate Watson, Duke, um, Reed, and then, of course, Bynum, the transfer from St. Joseph's, um, Gant. I mean, I, I think you still have a lot of pieces, but that's me on the outside. What do you see? Well, I see the same things you see. I see a lot of our versatility. I think we're athletic and long. I think we're very physical in front of the rim. Uh, I think David has made a big jump. AJ's made a big jump. I'm looking forward to the jump that Greg Gant can make in uh, Jimmy Nichols, who set out last year. Noah Hawkler, who set out a year for us. Uh, Jared being a natural point guard. And, um, you know, we'll see uh, what happens with uh, Bryson, if, if, he, if he's able to get a waiver, depending on what happens with this um, new transfer policy. I just like the pieces that we have, and it's going to be, uh, fun to put that group together. They're, uh, they talk a lot. They have a lot of fun together. It's just another challenge, another tough year in the Big East, and hopefully we can compete at that elite level to be one of the better teams. Yeah, there's no question that I think going into the season, Creighton and Villanova will be top 10 teams. Uh, and then as we look at the Big East, I think you guys got a great shot to be in that top four in some form or fashion over the course of the season. All right, before I let you go, Ed, everyone's watching something. What's your series of choice right now? <laughs> busy. Actually, my wife and I are watching Ozark. We're watching the third season of Ozark. That's pretty interesting. Um, watching a lot of our old games. But I would say Ozark right now is getting our attention. That's, that's been fun to watch.
All right. I know my wife was watching it. Very violent and, you know, very suspenseful. So I got to get it on my list as well. You'll enjoy it, Andy. Thanks All right. Stay safe, Ed. Thanks a lot. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.